Welcome everyone to the Community Update. I'm Dana Roselli along with Sean McAllister. And it's always important to remind everyone what day it is. And it is Monday, April 6th. Welcome everyone. <laughs> it, it is. Thanks for being here uh, and joining us on this Community Update, a partnership between the Vegas Video Network and Vegas Revealed. And you know, the times that we find mm -hmm. ourselves in have kind of changed the way that we're all doing our work. A lot of people working from home these days, Dana, as we are. Yeah, that's right. You know, we've interviewed so many people uh, doing different kinds of things, using their talents, pulling together friends with different talents and doing what they can. We interviewed someone who was, you know, making masks, a company that's pulling together their business and resources. We talked about someone collecting uh, webcams for doctor virtual visits. So uh, a lot of people doing a lot of good. And you know what? In Las Vegas, we have so many entertainers as well. Yeah, that's right. And the band Elvis Monroe is based here in Las Vegas. Uh, Brian Hopkins and Ben Carey are uh, the two of the founding members of the band, and they're joining us today. They they have new music out in this time when a lot of people aren't really doing that. People are putting on concerts from home. But Brian, Ben, great to see you guys. Thanks for being here with us. Thanks for good having us. You, it's good to see you. You know, and it's always <laughs> nice to hear Sean, Sean say those words. Ben and Brian from Elvis Monroe are putting out new music. You said that three <laughs> times in the years. So thank you, man. We really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's exciting to hear that that you guys are putting out new music right now, but you've you've had to be resourceful as all of us are right now in the way that you did it. So uh, tell us, what is the song and how did it come to be? Well, the song itself, um, days going into this, uh, when everybody was being confined to being at home, Ben had sent me a little piece of music like he always does. And um, that rolled into uh, just watching the news, watching what was going on. Nicole, uh, my girlfriend, works at a hospital, and so does her mom. And, and seeing and hearing everything go happen firsthand, was one of those things that inspired this song. And it actually came out of a conversation with Nicole. I was rolling down the road and I said to her, you know, I was a kid and lived through hurricanes in North Carolina when my dad was a Marine. Uh, the fires in California, I lived for many years in, in near Hollywood in Burbank. And there was an earthquake, the North, Northridge earthquake, um, the fires, 9-11, uh, the riots. And then Nicole and I met during the shooting on October 1, and Ben was standing right there with me by my side. So I said, like those things, we will get through this. And I, I remember it just, the lyrics started coming to me, and I sent it to Ben and said, you know, hey, what do you think? Um, should we start working on this? And And then Ben hit me back and said, I, you know, I think we should find a way to get this out. And so mm -hmm. we started working on that. Uh, Benny, actually, we, we're surrounded. I, I'm lucky because Ben is a world-class player. If you don't know it, he's from a band called Savage Garden. And this is where all the ladies mm -hmm. go, woo! And uh, but <laughs> that was his former life. And then, then for about 13 and a half years, he was in a band called Lifehouse. And through Ben and through music, we met people like Matt Nelson, who is like family. He's a brother to us. He he named this band. He's an original bass player. Um, we sent it to Maddie. Maddie Maddie sang on it, sang harmonies. Uh, Chris Reeve played drums on it, and he, his tour got canceled. He was out with Avril Lavigne, and the world tour got canceled, and so he came home. His wife plays for Cher, and their tour got canceled. So she came home. And then uh, David Pichette uh, from the band Emerson Drive out of Canada. Uh, he's the guy, the brainchild who helped us put this together so we could get it out to everybody. And um, it th literally is a nod to those out there on the front lines, the hospitals, mm -hmm. the truck drivers, the grocery store. I, every time I go to the grocery store, I thank the manager. I say, Glenn, I'm like, hey, Glenn, thanks for being open. Thanks for being here. Because they're working like it's, 
you know, we're walk, we're walking around with masks on and we're walking around staying six feet away from everyone and they're having to help everybody and be there. And yeah, it's just, there are so many people that, that this, this was our nod to them. And, um, yeah, and they, they will be the people that we speak of when this is over. They, when we get through it, they will be the change. And that's what this was, you know, the story that we're going to be able to tell, but when we say it, it's going to be them. Yeah. I remember so. having you guys, when I was working at Channel 13, I remember having you in the studio and I want to say it was a one October benefit. And that day too, you like wrote a song in the green room and then came in and you're like, Hey, we just wrote a song. And I mean, you guys are known for kind of doing things off the cuff, right? Yeah. Uh, well, we, yeah, we, Benny, we try go to be ahead. as honest as we can, you know, it, it's, yeah. I think that's the beauty in songwriting is sharing stories and sharing real experiences. Uh, we tend to write, what's close to our hearts, what we go through, what we see our friends grow through. They are real stories, you know, and it's stuff that either we have lived or people very close to close to us have lived. Mm -hmm. So what better thing to do than to share it honestly, you know, and, and I think songs connecting with people are all about that honesty. It's, it's when the listeners can feel the realism, when they can relate to what you're singing about and they're either, hey, I've lived that, I've been through that, I understand what they're saying. It's a different connection. It, as opposed to, oh, I like that beat, or it's it's a cool song, or whatever. It tends to resonate, I think, deep in the soul, and that's what we try and do as artists. Is you know, our jobs as musicians. Matt Nelson said it perfectly. On the Titanic, the band was playing while the boat was sinking. Yeah. You know, so I'm hoping this boat ain't sinking, but we're going to keep playing. So. And we are going to play the entire video at the end of uh, this broadcast once we wrap up the conversation. But I, I know kind of bouncing off what, what Dana said and the spontaneity that you guys have, I know a lot of times that, you know, you do write remotely. And sometimes the first time that you can actually get together and rehearse a song with everybody in one place, sometimes is when you're on stage to do a show. And I've been to your this shows, and I know that there is some experimentation that happens when you uh, have everybody there in front of you. You know, it happens just, just quite the a geography bit. Of, yeah, the geography of what how this band came about, we were all in big touring bands. So we, we were on the road all the time. So all the songwriting was done via text messages for the most part yes. with Brian and I. We had never, ever had a rehearsal for years and years and years. And exactly like you said, Sean, we'd get to sound check and everyone would fly in from their tours and, and we'd be like, hey, I got, we got a new Let's song. Try and smack it out and we'll play it and see how people feel about it. Um, yeah. Or we'd be on our way to a TV show, you know, we'd, something had happened that caused us to write a song or, you know, inspired us. And we're like, let's, let's hang it out there and let's put our hearts on our sleeves one more time and, and see if we can get it done. You know, again, the honesty in the performance is, is something that's really special to myself and to Brian and what we do with Elvis Monroe. And this song is definitely that. It's something that every single person is going through. The whole world is living this right now. And uh, we wanted to make it live. We didn't want to just track something in a studio and pretend to play it like a music video. So what no. you're hearing is raw. I mean, our, our bass player and drummer are tracking their PJs. Yeah. Chris is wearing a robe, but it's kind of awesome, you know? Yeah. And uh -huh. I'm sitting in a closet that I sort of turned into a makeshift workspace. Um, Matt's in Nashville, and Tennessee. I'm in my favorite in his, hoodie. His living room, <laughs> you know? It's, it, and, and we tracked live to my, my guitar. I recorded the, the pass from start to finish and imagined in my head Brian singing while I was playing. Yeah. And when to I was done iPhone. with that, I videoed myself doing it. And then I, I texted it to Brian. And he sang to my guitar with headphones on and recorded only his vocal. Then we sent it to Chris and Ashley and they did the same thing. They tracked to my guitar only and played the track. We sent it to David and it was sort of an imaginary live band performance. And then we cut all the videos together and blended the audio. And it's as real as it's going to get. It's super honest and raw. And we just wanted to get it out there because we believe in the song and we believe it can help people. Right. So Brian, tell me, you know, because I think talking with friends and um, artists, everyone says, you know, what's going to change after this? Do you think this experience is going to change anything about how you write music, how you put music together, what you're writing, anything like that? You know, not really. I'm, like mm -hmm. Ben just said it and we'll say it all the time. We write about what we live. 
Um, mm-hmm. I, I remember being asked, what about after October 1? Are you, you going to want to play shows? And we played a show on October 5th and then on October 6th and then October 15th, we went to Alaska. We continued to do what we love to do and we found ways to do that. And that's what we did. I, I, got, I just did this with my best friend and then surrounded ourselves with the people that there are other musicians who want to be on this, but we didn't feel that there was enough space in video or whatever. We just, we wanted to get it out. Um, we write about what we live. And mm-hmm. as you see, musicians are, you know, you, you got Blake Shelton and people like us sitting out on a porch performing. And because that's what they love to do, that's what they do. Mm-hmm. And that's what I love doing with my, with my best friend is writing mm-hmm. and performing. And it's not about the money. It's about Sean has been to multiple shows. Sean has come to see his play. And we put on the same show, whether it's in front of 10 people or 8,000 people. Um, We put our hearts out there for everybody to see and judge and whatever. But I I love it. It's not going to change. We'll find ways to do it. And I don't, I just like we don't know when this is going to be over. I don't know what's going to happen at the end of this, Ben is sitting in our recording studio right now with everything not there. And I'm <laughs> jealous, you know, that's where I want to be. I want to be sitting there writing and recording. And, yeah. um, but I got to figure out a way to this interview will probably inspire me to go write another song. He's got three other pieces that he sent to me and said, okay, right. So, you know, so yeah. who knows? Well, yeah, you gave him time off yeah. to do the interview. You need to get back to work, bro. What the hell? <laughs> 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 and you know, I'm going to go watch his hoodie. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Watch your every hoodie night. and write a song, man. Every, Come on. Every night. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, Sean's been to enough shows now Wanda. that he's like, he, Sean's almost part of the band. Like, we've been talking about how he's a member. I mean, so I mean, true. We, we, it's we, a groupie. We, we need a good looking guy in the band. So I think, Sean, you could, you could be in the band. <laughs> there you go, Sean. <laughs> Sean can play well, the well, Sean. There's no talent. There's no talent there, so. <laughs> well, listen, and Sean's no, birthday's coming up April 17th, so we're going to need a virtual yeah. birthday party. We might call on you guys. That's awesome. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I will be there. We'll turn it into a, a big virtual thing. But, you know, putting a, a video like this together is one outlet for you guys as musicians and entertainers. You mentioned there are people like Blake Shelton who are doing the same thing from their front porch. But... Yeah. That that is an outlet, but it doesn't replace the live experience being no. up on stage. What do you think it's going to be like the first time that you're back up on stage and there's that excitement and that feeling and that electricity of people being in the room together? Maybe we'll get you, nervous. <laughs> 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 you you, you know, it's it's funny. Las Vegas is the entertainment capital of the world. Yeah. And I think I'll speak generally for there's there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands of working musicians and and entertainers, not just musicians, people in the entertainment business here in Las Vegas that are all out of work and sitting at home right now. And I think this is, uh, can I say respectfully, a slap in the face for us to appreciate our lives. Um, mm-hmm. I can't wait to play in front of people again, no. whether it's in a bar yeah. or in an arena or in a football stadium. I, I just want to be outside and play music with my band. You know, if I can't even share the experience of that conversation between my guitar and the drums, unless it's across the telephone or, or the internet right now. So it gives me a new appreciation for the craft. Um, also, as a fan of music, being able to go and see my buddies play and watch their talent, listen to their, you know, their, 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 their improvements every week, things they're working on. And, and it's, I can't wait to get back to it. I, I, I don't really know what to say about how it's going to be in the future. Um, I try not to think about that too much because we're here right now. And I think the best thing for us all to focus on is what can we do to get back to what we love? And in the meantime, how can I continue growing my craft and getting better at what I do? So when when it's time to press go, I'm a better version of myself. And Elvis Monroe is a better version of the band that you last saw 
I don't want to come out and be the same thing. I want to be better, you know, and, yeah. and I want to be a better songwriter. I want to be a better guitar player. I'm working on the record as we speak every day, trying to take this time, time that we didn't have before because we're wrapped up in 50 other things, you know. I don't have an excuse now, so I got to I gotta get after it. I got to work hard. This is true. <laughs> 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 so what does that. Alice Monroe have planned? Uh, you guys, I mean, I know obviously there's nothing in the immediate future. We don't know. I don't know if you guys had anything planned out in the fall or anything that's still going on that you want to let people know about or at least give you a moment here to push your socials and your website and all that kind of thing. Well, a couple of things. Um, hopefully it's far enough out. Um, uh, we got asked to headline the Grants Pass Fair, um, which is about 4,000 people in August, late August. So hopefully everything's a go. Mm. And Ben doesn't even know this. We we got asked to um, open up for Everclear at the M oh. in November. Ben, I didn't tell you that. I got a text and you know, they asked <laughs> there you go. we were That's available. Nice. And so yeah, it's like, okay. But Ben said it, we're, we're putting out, um, we're hoping to put out new music and new, you know, new songs. Uh, this is a video of a song, but Ben did cut the track. Um, so when we get back together, I can sing on it. Uh, and then we have 12 new songs before we, before all this happened, that was our goal. We did a show um, revealing all these songs from a new album that we sat down and wrote that no one had heard yet. And that's what we want to finish. That's what's next. Um, social media wise, you know, to keep up with us, Instagram, Elvis Monroe Official. It's the same with Facebook. Um, we have a YouTube channel. And right now, that's where we're putting all this out and, this, and, and doing these interviews around the country and just trying to get the word out on this. I mean, our biggest thing is be the change. Be the change. Mm -hmm. it, it's staying home, that's, your, that's what you can do, stay home. If you're not a first responder, if you're not a truck driver working at the grocery store, the gas station, whatever, stay home. You know, the hospital, it's very real. Um, Nicole comes home and and it's scary. It's a very real thing going on right now. And do your part by staying home. You know, don't gather with your friends, you know, and be the yeah. change. That's it. At the end of the day, be the change. And that's what we wrote about. And, you know, it, there there will be a story to tell and hopefully it's a good one when this is all over and we learned a little bit and we got closer with our families and the people that we are you know stuck with it, it, but in a good way you know so look at it as a gift yeah well ben brian we're so happy to have uh, new music from you guys and the video Thank to go you. along with it and i uh, can't wait to to see you guys in person can't Thank wait you. Man. can't wait the same man buddy Thank yeah. you for having us. We, we miss you yeah it, it's been great i mean let me let me tell you because i live alone so this is like my interaction Four people talking at one time. It's so exciting. <laughs> Listen, thank you guys so much. Thank you. And we wanted thank to you for leave us. with it. Of course, of course. And we wanted to leave, like we had mentioned, Sean had mentioned, we want to play the full song for everyone to hear. And so we're going to leave on that note. We want to again thank the Vegas Video Network for this live stream. Scott always helping us out and doing all the controls in the back and um, making this possible. So thank you to Scott Whitney and Vegas Video. And let's leave you with that video now called Be the Change. Sounds like I've lived on the front lines Earthquakes, riots, hurricanes in my time Well, we'll get through 
Be safe, take care of everyone, and be kind.